Hello and welcome to the Long Island Weather Update. It's a little after 9 o'clock on March 21st, 2024. Feeling a little more like winter today. Plenty of sunshine, a few clouds, um, but more or less a pretty nice day, but very windy. And looking at the satellite here, you'll notice that there is smoke over Virginia here in the Appalachians. Um, notice right here. We have some fires that just got started today, and that's because there was a red flag warning. We had very dry, breezy conditions. Uh, looks like there's another fire over Carolina, so it looks like we got a lot of fires actually breaking out over here. Let's just pause that for a moment. So you can see we got one over here over Virginia, another one over eastern North Carolina, and another one over western North Carolina. However, it does not look like anything happened in New Jersey uh, that I can tell. Um, but uh, there are some wildfires that did pop up in other in the in the mid-atlantic region which isn't a surprise uh looking at the satellite image here you could see uh here is uh what it looked like uh earlier in the day you could see a, a, a large amount of stratocumulus over the east end other than that the rest of the island just had scattered uh, and new jersey had even less of that um and then as we got to it later in the day um you could see that the um the, uh, this is around middle of the day. You can see that the uh, stratocumulus cleared out. However, you can't see. Looks like there were a couple of contrails over New Jersey. We didn't see any of that here. Uh, and then this is another image here of uh, what it looked like. So, again, so you get the idea of what it was like today. It was pretty pretty breezy out there, uh, but it was a nice day. Oh, chilly. Um, show you some pictures. Of course, I was in the pines again. And uh, pretty windy at the lakes. So it was kind of hard to stand up. At times, but you try your best. Um, and uh, the lakes are nice and full, and they're going to get even fuller uh, as we uh, as we head toward the weekend. And we got this next storm coming up. Now, I, I have a vi another video of the ride I took out there on the Long Island Railroad shuttle bus, uh, but I didn't actually take a video while I was hiking. Uh, so uh, let's look at our current conditions. And you can see it's pretty chilly out there. We got mid 30s. Across the area, still pretty breezy conditions. Winds gusting to 20 at Islip. A little less windy in New Jersey. Uh, let's look at Islip right now where it's 34 degrees, a dew point of 10. Northwest wind to 12, gusting to 20. It's these type of conditions uh, that ter generally uh, make it, uh, and you can see the wind gusted to 40 miles an hour at Islip today. And it gusted up there. It was pretty breezy. If we look at the day general, we had uh, very breezy conditions. It was worse in, in the... Um, no, it was actually bad all day. We had gusts up to the, into the 20s, uh, 30s. Look at that, gust of 39 at 4 o'clock this afternoon. So it was pretty windy all day long. I'm surprised they did not issue a wind advisory for us. I don't know why they didn't. I don't know why they didn't with these uh, breezy conditions here you could see. Dealing with here at Islip all day long, you could see 30s in the morning. Felt like the winter time. Felt like it was below freezing when that wind blew on you. Um, but, uh, yeah, pretty, uh, pretty windy day all in all. I don't know why they didn't issue a wind advisory. I just don't understand their thinking. Uh, there was a small craft advisory and it's still breezy out there because it's still 40. There's still gust of 43 at the top of the, the hospital at Stony Brook. And look at this. They gusted to 66 miles an hour at the hospital in Stony Brook. That's incredible. That's a lot of wind right there. I'm surprised that the weather service didn't put a wind report up. Uh, but some so spots definitely got up there. No radiational cooling at West Hampton, uh, 34 there. Uh, and it looks like maybe they're starting to get into some in the New Jersey Pine Barrens, a little less wind over there. Um, so let's look at our highs and lows on the map. So highs uh, only struggled to the low 40s. Some parts of Long Island didn't even make it above 40. Upper 30s uh, on the uh, Twin Forks. Uh, as you headed toward the city, a little bit warmer, maybe closer to the mid-40s. And definitely in, t in New Jersey, once you got down to Ocean County, mid-40s. A lot warmer there versus Long Island. A good 5 or 6 degrees warmer there, even though we had a northwest wind. Um, looking at the lows uh, tonight. Lows, probably the, the, the current temperatures are, yeah, I don't. it didn't really drop all that much last night. So upper 20s to around 30 are our lows. Uh, we'll go to our climate statistics. It's still very much below normal today so ice slip high of 41 low of 29 the high was eight degrees below normal the low is four degrees below normal putting us six degrees below normal for the day at ice slip central park it up to 43 
They were running 7 degrees below normal for the day. And Newark, New Jersey, 45. Always warmer in New Jersey. They're 6 degrees above normal there. So, yeah, I, I, I meant below normal. If I said above normal, I should I'm so used to saying above normal. No, Central Park was 7 degrees below normal. <laughs> so used to saying above normal. And uh, Islip was 6 degrees below normal. So, yeah, it was a... Uh, you know, chilly day, but not not you know not record breaking cold. Uh, you know, we're always having much bigger deviations on the above side than the below side. That's another part of climate change. So uh, let's look at go to the weather service website here. There is no mention of of the wind uh, the wind gusts, but I mean some of these winds were pretty pretty impressive in certain spots. I want to see what JFK gusted to today. They gusted to forty three. We're going to have to just do it this way. 38 at LaGuardia. Uh, what about uh, Miller Air Park? They gusted 32. The winds weren't quite as bad in Jersey. Um, all right, that's not that's not the towel. I want to see Belmar Farmingdale. Uh, what did they gust to? 31. So not, not quite as windy in New Jersey. Definitely windier on Long Island. The gradient was tighter. Um, so, uh, and you can see all these fires here. We've got fires burning in Virginia closing parts of parks so again because of these high winds dry conditions the good news is there is rain coming um and we're going to talk about that next so uh when we got all this out of the way let's look at the models here and you see that high that's going to be building over us giving us one more dry day tomorrow that moves out to sea and then here comes this big soaker uh, system it's going to have a tropical connection to it and Saturday is going to be a very wet, wet day. Here's the GFS, and it's going to be raining heavy for many, many hours, especially afternoon and the evening. Uh, you can see this uh, really just got it's got a tropical connection to it. There's plenty of moisture with it. Um, and uh, behind that, though, we should have improving conditions for Sunday. Uh, but right now, we're going to take a look at this uh, system here and uh, what the potential is here on the GFS. And we're going to look at the total rainfall first on this because again there's going to be a lot of rain so you can see here all right it's dialed it back a little bit but there's still a stripe where it could be three inches um and remember the models always underperform with these with these uh systems remember that so um that's something that we're gonna have to keep an eye on uh because i think it we will, will underperform again you can see we're gonna have rain saturday all day long so um Probably too soon for the HRRR. Uh, let's look at the NAM 12. Uh, we do have the 18Z NAM 12, so we can look at that and look at our storm system. And you can see rain gets going. Um, NAM doesn't look quite as impressive with the rain. Uh, the rain gets going later in the afternoon, um, and, the, and the duration of the NAM is definitely less. Uh, but you'll notice how tight those isobars are. We're going to be dealing with some wind behind the storm. Um, total accumulate precip in the NAM dials it back a little bit because that was still too soon to really know for sure what's going to happen with the storm system. And if I go to the icon, the icon is continuing to be a lot wetter and giving us a lot more rain than any of the other models. Uh, three, perhaps even four inches. Um, so the icon may be onto something here. Um, you can see and look at that heavy rain that's going to be over us again Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening. It's just going to pour. It is just going to pour. Uh, and we're going to talk a little more about that tomorrow. Um, I'm, I'm really just going to cover the weather through tomorrow in this weather update. So um, I'll just to give you an idea that Saturday is going to be a real soaker. Uh, so we don't have the H triple R. I mean, there really isn't that much to need it for right now. So let's uh, go back to GFS here and look at our dew points and wind flow through tomorrow. All right, so. Uh, you'll see we continue with the northwest flow, dry, even it looks like it's even drier air is trying to get in a, over Long Island tomorrow, and then it eventually backs to the south by the afternoon tomorrow, uh, and that sets the stage again for the the uh, moisture for a Saturday. Uh, temperatures, um, if we get radiational cooling, if, I mean, we are all going to drop below freezing tonight, but if there's radiational cooling, the potential is there for teens for sure, in the Pine Barrens especially. Um, and then for Friday, it's still going to be chilly. Um, we're still going to struggle to, I think, the low t low 40s, I think, uh, especially with that northeast to, to becoming east to southeast wind. It's going to keep it cool, maybe warmer inland, but I think today it's just going to feel better because we're not going to have the wind tomorrow. 
uh, to m make it feel as unbearable as it has as it was today. Um, now, when it comes to sky cover, that's the tricky part, obviously. And I guess, you know what, I can use an older run of the HRRR. 18Z HRRR. You can see the same, uh, same idea here that we have um, with the GFS. You can see, again, that you can see all that much warmer air off to the southwest that's going to help fuel that storm. Um, but for tomorrow, it's going to definitely still be on the chilly side. Um, we'll take a look at a few soundings. So let's do 16Z here. Um, and you can see there is definitely some upper-level moisture there. Um, so there may be some jet junk around. Um, definitely getting worse as the afternoon goes on, um, along with some cirrus, maybe some mid-level clouds. Um, you know, the sky probably won't be as blue as it was today. Even though know, we had some clouds, it was blue sky. We didn't have any jet junk, at least not here on Long Island. Um, so let's go to the skies. I'll go to the GFS. Yeah. Excuse me, I'm just tired. All right, so see, we start off with fairly clear skies, but then that cirrus kind of just rolls in on us there on this is the gfs if i show you the fv3 which is the higher resolution of the gfs you'll see again those clouds kind of so we start off right in the early morning clear but then i think those clouds kind of move in pretty quick for tomorrow though it won't be a bad day it won't be a bad day at all it'll be it'll be decent compared to what we're going to have to deal with on saturday um use a few more models here we we'll go to the rgm last and the rgm of course being the most optimistic Keeps us fairly clear um, through much of the day. Um, and there will be sunshine, but I just think that there'll be some jet chunk and cirrus around. Though it's always very hard to predict. When looking at the satellite, I don't see it here. Uh, when I run the satellite loop here, we'll run the satellite loop. I don't see any any of it anywhere. The nearest area that would generate that kind of stuff would be, yeah, I guess some, that area over New Jersey, I guess it's this area right here. That's the area that got New Jersey. It's like a little mid-level, a little upper-level moisture there over the mid-Atlantic, but it would be this from this system here, and these are our two systems here coming. So, this is your this is your system for Saturday. You can see, look at all the Gulf moisture it has available, uh, and then this is your system for uh, this is the system that's going to kind of combine forces with it, um, and that's where we're going to get a lot. And that, that looks like some pretty heavy. So I'm going to run this loop a little longer. Yeah, it looks like some pretty heavy rain over there. You can see all the moisture that it's going to get from the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, I'm kind of curious about lightning strikes because there could be quite a few in there. Yeah, there is. Yep, there is. So this is the kind of activity that we're going to have heading our way. So uh, we'll talk more about it tomorrow night. Thank you for watching and have a good night.